The KDEX 2024 exhibition in South Korea from October 4th to 7th is highlighting a groundbreaking development in military vehicle technology. Hyundai Rotom, a leading South Korean defense manufacturer, is showcasing its K808, an 8x8-wheeled armored personnel carrier APC, designed for tough terrains like those in Peru, where the vehicle is soon to be exported. This marks a significant step in both the company's expansion and Korea's growing presence in the Latin American defense market. The K808 stands out as a versatile and robust vehicle, tailored to Peru's diverse and often unforgiving landscapes, including mountainous regions and river Rhine areas. Its ability to adapt to such conditions makes it an ideal solution for rapid deployment and reconnaissance missions. The vehicle's 8x8-wheel design allows it to traverse hills, navigate rocky terrain, and cross trenches up to 1.5 meters deep, all while maintaining operational efficiency. It can even handle water crossings thanks to a water jet system, making it suitable for amphibious operations in shallow rivers. Hyundai Rotom's focus on rugged terrain aligns perfectly with Peru's strategic needs, as the country seeks to upgrade its defense capabilities in areas that are hard to reach. The K808's capability to operate in these regions is a clear advantage over the previous K511A1 army truck, which it is set to replace in Korea's military service. This advantage will soon be applied in Peru, where Hyundai Rotom is poised to supply the army with a series of vehicles following an expected contract with FAME, Peru's military manufacturing company. With a contract expected to be finalized later this month, Hyundai Rotom will export an initial batch of 30K808 APCs to Peru, valued at around $60 million. There is potential for this to grow with the possibility of delivering up to 120 more units. This sale marks Hyundai Rotom's first export of its wheeled armored vehicles and represents South Korea's first armored vehicle sale to Latin America. Not only does this deal open doors for Hyundai Rotom in the Latin American market, but it also positions the company as a global competitor in defense exports. Following the K808 deal, Hyundai Rotom also has the option to provide other types of armored and tactical vehicles to the Peruvian military, which could further solidify its role in the region's defense sector. The K808 is equipped with cutting-edge technology designed to enhance both mobility and protection. Its eight independently driven wheels allow it to climb over obstacles up to 40 centimeters high, while the tactical tires, supported by a central tire inflation system, CTIS, ensure the vehicle remains operational even in the harshest conditions. Additionally, run-flat tires and blast-resistant seats offer improved protection against landmines and explosive threats. In terms of protection, the K808's armor is designed to withstand small arms fire and artillery shell fragments. Its frontal arc can resist 12.7mm armor-piercing rounds, and additional armor can be fitted to meet specific operational requirements. This level of defense makes the K-808 a reliable option for both infantry transport and combat missions in hostile environments. The vehicle is powered by a 420-horsepower turbocharged Hyundai diesel engine, which enables it to reach speeds of up to 100 km per hour on roads. Its automatic transmission provides seven forward gears and one reverse gear, giving it flexibility in both urban and off-road conditions. The K-808 can also cover up to 800 km on a full tank making it ideal for long-range missions. For amphibious operations, the K-808 is fully capable, with twin water jets that allow it to reach speeds of up to 8 km per hour in water. This versatility ensures that the vehicle can be deployed in a wide range of combat scenarios, from land to water crossings. Hyundai Rotom has integrated several key safety features into the K-808. The vehicle is equipped with a chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear CBRN, protection system which shields the crew from hazardous environments. The blast-resistant seats, which are not attached to the floor, further protect personnel from the impact of landmines and explosive devices. These features enhance the survivability of the crew, making the K-808 a highly reliable asset in high-risk missions. Hyundai Rotom's venture into Peru marks just one step in its broader international strategy. Last year, the company signed a $3.4 billion contract with Poland to export 180 K2 Black Panther combat tanks, with 10 units delivered in December 2022. The company has also formed strategic partnerships with global defense leaders like Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace AS in Norway, aimed at developing next-generation combat tanks. By securing contracts across multiple continents, Hyundai Rotom is positioning itself as a major player in the global defense industry.
Its ability to adapt vehicles like the K808 to the specific needs of different countries showcases its expertise in developing versatile, high-performance defense solutions. As Hyundai Rotom prepares to export its K808 APCs to Peru, the company is not only opening up a new market in Latin America but also demonstrating its capacity to meet the demands of varied and challenging terrains. With its advanced mobility, protection, and amphibious capabilities, the K-808 is set to play a key role in enhancing Peru's defense capabilities. As the first wheeled armored vehicle export from Korea to Latin America, this deal is a landmark achievement for both Hyundai Rotom and the broader South Korean defense industry, further solidifying their global presence.